my name is Bev Shackman, I'm Vice President of the Doctor Patient Forum, and I'm going to make a quick video because there's some chatter on TikTok about MME conversion and buprenorphine. We continue to say there is a way to convert it. All MME is nonsense, but there is a way to convert buprenorphine to a full agonist for pain, not for OUD. The problem with doctors not knowing how to do it is that explains why Doctors are taking patients from 15 MME and putting them on 24 milligrams of Suboxone and they get overly medicated and very sick and often vomit because they go from 15 MME to 720 MME. And then it also explains why doctors are taking patients from 400 MME and putting them on Butrin at the max dose that they could take is 18 MME and they're going through severe acute withdrawal. Both situations, the patient's gonna say, I'm allergic to this medication because they don't know what's happening. Then they're put down as drug seeking in their chart as OUD, and then it's a whole cycle from, the, from there. So if you're a healthcare professional and you are putting patients from a full agonist onto butte, please learn the conversions. It's one milligram is equal to 30 MME, or one microgram is equal to 0.03 MME. Yes, I know it is just an estimate. Yes, I know there's different ways to convert, but when it comes to buprenorphine, that's the, the main one I've seen. It is excluded when converted in the PDMP or risk scores or in legislation when it's given for OUD. And the reason for that was that it would take them over the MME threshold that they were saying for chronic pain. I'm gonna play a clip for you. This is from July of 2023. This is an addiction specialist from Yale. I do notice I use buprenorphine quite a bit in my practice for chronic pain, uh, thanks to Will, who has taught me how to use buprenorphine for chronic pain. Um, I think it's a great point to like, really feel comfortable with these doses and don't be afraid to look it up. There are a lot of great resources online that can help you sort of convert the MME because it, it's not, I don't think it's always intuitive um, to start out. So I would always sort of go through the process of calculating out the MME just to make sure I'm not giving somebody too much because then I think I'm at risk of like turning them off from the medication entirely. Like, doc, that was too much. It made me tired. I'm nauseous. I'm vomiting. I don't want to try it again. Um, so we'll be sure to like link to some resources in our show notes um, just for folks who um, want to get a sense of where, where do I start with all this? So that was um, an addiction specialist, and I'm glad that she said what she said. The name of the podcast was Using Buprenorphine for Chronic Pain. So she was educating people on where to find the MME conversion. So for people to continue to say there is no way to convert it, that is going to continue to, talk, to cause problems for the pain community, and I'm going to continue to speak up. I don't care how many times you attack me. I'm not stigmatizing the molecule. I am correcting misinformation that continues to hurt my community. If you like this content, head on over to Patreon, patreon.com slash the Dr. Patient Forum. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.